the tensions simmered in the 83rd over when Kohli was struck by Johnson's throw after the Indian batsman had pushed it back towards the Australian bowler. Johnson's throw immediately brought down the right-hander and though the bowler immediately apologised for his actions, Kohli was clearly not amused. Kohli and Johnson were engrossed in a heated argument until umpire Richard Kettleborough intervened to clamp the two players down. The drama triggered by Johnson's throw almost got the better of the Indian batsman when the bowler forced an outside edge from Kohli's bat only to be dropped by Shane Watson at first slip. Cashing on his luck, Kohli went on to register his 150 and later fell 31 run shot on his double hundred. But the damage was already done, Virat Kohli slammed Johnson for 68 runs off 73 balls including 11 boundaries in his 169 run knock. It was only the third occasion in the career of Johnson and the very first in the past four years that the left-arm bowler had conceded 100 runs without taking a wicket. After the end of play on the third day, Kohli revealed that his counterparts were busy calling him a spoiled brat but it only made his resolve stronger. He added a crucial 262 runs for the fourth wicket alongside Ajink Kirahane 147 in scripting India's befitting reply to Australia's mammoth first innings total of 530 runs. The incident brings back the memories of the Adelaide Test where Team India paid dearly for Rohit Sharma's apparent sledging of Johnson, who went on to score 90 runs and took four crucial wickets to help his side take an unassailable 2-0 lead in the series. Kohli's innings silenced Mitchell Johnson and the Australians all right, but it would have also shut the critics who obnoxiously blamed his girlfriend Danush Kashama's presence in the stadium for his series of poor runs in England earlier this year.